welcome back to my channel. I've just finished work, so we're currently, things coming out. We're currently in my bedroom. I hope you can hear me okay. Um, I'm using a different camera. Oh, and now my dog's crying because he's not in here. Um, I'm using the Canon G7X Mark II. It's not actually mine, it's my partner's. Um, so I've not used it before, so please don't, you know, I hope it's, I hope it's all right. Um, yeah, so different, a different view. We are in my bedroom. Um, so it is a bit, when we moved in, it was like bright pink and bright yellow. So um, we just painted everything gray. So um, it might be a bit dark. I'm hoping it's not, and I don't know how to get the flash on. I have no idea, my hair is a mess. Um, I have no idea how to get the flash on. So, um, and the lights aren't very bright in here, they're like the energy saving ones. Anyway, um, I know my channel is a nail channel, but I did want to maybe change it up just a little bit. Like, um, I want to do maybe some more clothing hauls and things like that. Um, I'm just throwing it out there, just having a bit of a test on there, um, seeing how it all goes. I'm currently in my joggers. Um, I literally ran in from work and just got changed. So um, that's why my hair is literally just, <laughs> look at it, it's just like a state. Um, because it was in like in a nice bun and things, but every time I get changed it just goes everywhere. Um, so I have got a pretty little thing, um, haul, clothing, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, we're gonna go through this and see what it is and try it all on. All the links will be below. Um, so yeah, let's have a little bit of a go and see what all this is, because I can't even remember what I ordered. Um, so the first thing, I've chucked it all on the floor. The first thing are some mum jeans. Um, they're not really my style, but I want to try them because they're really, they are really pretty. Um, they've got roses all over. Um, so they're mum jeans and they're white with roses all over. And these are the pink rose print wide leg, a oh, wide leg jean size 12. Um, I am quite curvy. I know it doesn't look like it, but I go in and then I have like, I do have hips and thighs and I do have a big bum. And I do, that's not me j just saying, oh, you know, I've got a big bum. I do have a big bum. Um, so clothing for me can be really difficult sometimes. Um ordering online because I, I have to I just kind of look at the model and just think right I need to go about 10 sizes bigger than what you are um most of the size 12 jeans from pretty little thing do fit me so um wow they are wide leg but the waist looks tiny the waist there's no stretch so this is what they look like um that's the leg so they are like super wide leg the material is not like, you know, that tight jean material where you feel like you can't move around. That's not what this is like. This is really soft, really soft. And I think everything was in the sale. This was five pounds. These were five pounds, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try them on and see what we think. I don't know how I'm going to adjust you, though. I have no idea. So to try and get, like, the full the full length in, I, 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 I don't know, but I'll figure it out, um, literally all I know how to do on this camera is press record, that's it, I don't know how to do anything else, um, it's not my camera, I've literally, I'm just hoping I don't drop it because it's only a couple of months old and it was really expensive and I've propped you on top of my bed, on top of a footstool, on top of a makeup box, because I have got one of those like mount things that you screw into that, into the camera, but I don't know where it is. So, um, let's try these. Okay, out. way too small. Like, I, I, I'm breathing in right now to do them up. Like, they are way too small. And it, they, they sit on your belly button. So I would have liked them to be, you know, higher up. But they are way too small. I'm, I'm having to breathe in because it's just gonna show my pot belly otherwise. Um, so, oh as you can see, it's, um, this might be a bit too much information but i will say it it's you know girly time of the month kind of thing so um i'm already pot belly at the moment and i have endometriosis um 
severe endometriosis. I've had a couple of surgeries. Um, so I always have like a bloated belly. But these, oh my god, they're just not high enough. Like, ugh. Like, they're, they're really... They, if they were higher, they'd fit perfect. But they're more like mid kind of waist. But I am struggling to show you how baggy they are. They are super, super, super baggy. Um, but they are, they're really nice. But look how it's like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm showing this on the internet. Um, yeah, they're just... They're, they're, they're extremely tight. <sighs> so um, let me see if I've got anything else that might be something that I can just put on like... Ah, I've got a skirt. Let's try a skirt. Okay, so I did get, I'm having to crouch down, um, the petite. Now I'm 5'4", or 5'5", five five or just shy of it. So um, I don't exactly have really long legs. Um, this, this is the petite grey ruched tie waistband mini skirt size 10. Um, they didn't have a size 12. So I've got a size 10. Um, and again, it was in the sale. This does look tiny though. It looks like it would fit a child. Oh my God. I mean, it might fit. This is what it looks like. It's like paper bag. It, well, not paper bag. It's very thin, so it'd be really nice for the summer. Um, yeah, that should fit actually. So um, let's try this little skirt on. Really cute. And I think this was... I think it was like three pound. They've got a huge, huge sale on. Oh my God, it looks like I'm homeless. Okay, let me try this on. The tightest skirt I've ever worn in my life. Like, look at it. I mean, you can see me podge there, but you know what? You've got to learn to love yourself, okay? Everybody is all different shapes and sizes. Um, I've always been insecure about my podge and my hips and my thighs, purely because I have endometriosis. It's not just like rolls of like fat, that wouldn't bother me, um, because everybody has that, is the fact that it goes from like here, like that, like, like, like you're pregnant, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's, when you have endometriosis, it's really hard to, Lose, you can't really lose weight because it's endometriosis. There's no getting rid of that that bulge um, unless you have surgery, and they won't do surgery again because my last surgery surgery was so extensive. Um, we're having to try and find different options, but um, it is very tight, super tight. I mean, I've got I've got my granny knickers on because you know your girl needs those on at this time of the month. So, yeah. Um, that's what it looks like. I mean, I do have quite thin legs. Um, let's just pretend I am tanned right now, okay? Let's pretend I'm tanned. So, um, I don't look very pale. Um, yeah, so, I don't like, this is really tight, really tight. I'm not going to bother sending it back. I'm not going to send the jeans back. I, I just can't be bothered because it's only a couple of quid anyway. Um, yeah, so... I mean, this bit is really loose, really loose, like, really loose. This is from my knickers, really loose, but this, honestly, if you're like a 12 like me and you're quite curvy, don't even get a 12, but this is a 10, get a 14. I know that's, if that's not, if that's not your size, that's not your size, but this has no stretch to it. Um, even in those jeans, I would probably need a 14, even though I'm a size 10 to 12 depending on how high they go, if they have stretch, if they don't have stretch. You know, everybody's different. So, um, yeah, don't don't go by what I what I say, but I don't want you to get this and be like, oh, well, it's, she's kind of got into it because I literally, I have to, I don't know how I'm going to get it off. <gasps> how am I going to get it off? I might have to cut it off. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm really not. Like, I can't even open because it's super tight, like it's super tight. That's literally, it does, there's no stretch. Um, so, but I did get a beautiful dress and if this dress, dress doesn't fit me, oh, 
I'm gonna cry. So this dress is the Blush Wire um, Detail Bow Strappy Shift Dress, size eight. Now the reason why I got a size eight is because I don't have boobs. I don't have a bra on. These are my boobs. This is just, this is just my body, okay? I don't have boobs. So whenever I see the model and she's like, oh, she's wearing a size eight, but her boobs are like out here. I'm just like, well, if I get a size 10, because it's a cup, the, the dress is kind of like cupped. It's just gonna be really loose and flapping about. So um, I thought I can't get a 10 or a 12. So I'm hoping that this fits. Because it is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know how, I'm really sorry, I don't know how to adjust you. I've got a ring light and everything, but I just didn't want to bring it upstairs. Um, Cause it's in like my nail room. It's in my nail room. Um, like, I'm sorry, but look at this. Just look. See, this is what I was talking about. It's got adjustable straps as well. It's got a bow at the front and on the back it has a zip. Um, so I'm hoping it fits. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. So let's try this beautiful. Do I have the dress on? This is what it looks like. It's like a puffable kind of dress and underneath it has like um this kind of material um i can't get the back done up i'm not gonna lie not because it doesn't fix it fits fine this is what i was talking about that's the bow this bit's all boned up here so it's like got the bone on there and that is the back now the, the back does will do up i just can't reach Oh, sliding down I just can't reach to do it up but um that's exactly why I went down a size because I knew that the waistband was so high and I am I am thin up here and I'm small at the top I prefer it if you know I had you know but I'm not that lucky I'm just I'm not that lucky unfortunately um yes yeah, so that's what it looks like it's puffable dress it's really cute um yeah i really like it and I, I this was like pence i'm pretty sure this was pence but with a tan your hair down or even up in a bun some nice like heels maybe some heels that go up your leg a little bit it would look really nice um cute handbag i do like it i really really do um but yeah that's so what it looks like it's a little pretty bow all up here is boned you have adjust adjustable straps as well um yeah the back will do up i just can't reach because the zip's there and my shot my arms just i can't just get it that far back um i think i did get another dress i think <laughs> let's have a look i can't actually remember Oh, I did. It was a brown one. Okay. So, this one is... Don't want these coming out. Um, chocolate puffable puff sleeve tie detail shift dress size 8. Um, so, that's what it looks like. It's a little puffable dress. And I do like puffable dresses because they're really, they're really flattering. It has a zip on the back. This is... Um, it's quite stretchy so it has a zip oh come on a zip on the back and then you have your pretty sleeves just like that some pretty sleeves and you also have like the tie bit at the front so let's try this one on this is what it looks like Woo. Um, I really, really, really like it. You've got your little dangly bits, your cute little sleeves, even though I've pulled them up too high. And then um, you've got your like puffy, really stretchy, your puffy ball bit. Yeah. I like dresses like this because they're really flattering, especially people that, for me anyway, where you kind of be really thin up here 
but then here you you, you, you like that so it's really flattering um i've always had like quite thin legs anyway just not up here <laughs> or the sides of me um the back has got a zip but i can't reach it will do up i just the zip's there and i just i can't reach but it fits perfect um i've pulled it to make sure i can reach and i can um and it will i can't sorry but it will do up um and this was only a couple of quid as well it wasn't expensive so um I, because it was only two items at first that didn't really fit with the jeans and the skirt i was i wasn't going to bother sending them back but now i probably will um yeah so um now i probably will send them back because i've got that of a dress that I like but I might not keep it I'm not 100% sure um I'll try it on again later and I am going to send the jeans and the skirt back um but I'm going to keep this because I really really like it it's so nice yeah so um yeah it's really cute it's a size 8 that I got so if you are a similar size to me but you have bigger kind of boobs don't get a size 8 because it will not fit you um that's how much stretch i have from my boobs um but i suppose you can have them like up here if you want to i i'm just not that lucky i am not that lucky um yeah so i really like this um i feel like i'm going to a ball Woo. um so i'm gonna try it on the last i actually it's not really the last item um, I've got a top, but I'm going to put it with my other new pair of Pretty Little Things mum jeans that does fit that came two days ago. Um, so I'll pair it with that and I'll also leave those linked just in case. So, yeah. These are the, they're ripped, they're mum jeans. These are in a size 12 and they fit perfectly. Can you see what I mean? I am very, like, quite thin up here. I mean, you can't tell at the moment, but then I kind of go out and there's nothing wrong with that it's, it's absolutely fine it you know so please don't you know that i don't like listening or hearing about body shaming or anything like that i don't believe in that okay i'm getting a bit freaked out because my camera's focusing on something there and i am oh my god why is it doing that it's like it's focusing on my tv um yeah so i don't believe in anything like that i don't like hearing about it um I think there's a, you know, a, a lot of women preferably, may, well mainly, and men, but mainly young girls, you know, they're, um, they, 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 they watch too many things and they get it in their head that they need to look a certain way, not the case, everybody is beautiful the way that they are, um, and this is why I don't, I would never ever have dreamt of doing a try on haul or anything like that, probably a year ago because I used to hate my body, like hate my body. I wouldn't look in the mirror. Um, if I was getting unchanged or gonna get in the bath, I wouldn't look in the mirror or having a shower, I wouldn't look in the mirror. I would only look in the mirror once I've got dressed um, because I didn't like the way that my, my, my shape was. But now I am learning to, you know, I am who I am. My body's the way that it is. Um, and I'm not gonna change it for anybody. You know, if I'm curvy, then I'm curvy. If I have a bit of chub, I have a bit of chub. I don't care anymore. Um, and this is why I'm, I've bought quite a few different items of clothing to show you that when you're curvy like me, it is really difficult to, you know, you can be like, oh, you measured up as a size 12, but then that item might be a size six or an eight and that might fit you, but a size 12 might be too big. It is because you're curvy um, like me curvy worthy um yeah so these jeans they are like a dark a dark wash and um, they're mum jeans they are quite long um but with a pair of like wedged trainers or something like that it'd be fine this top is a size 12 um it is the only one they had left no no it's not um i got a size 12 because um the model she was wearing something quite small and she looked tiny so, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Very stretchy. Um, I probably should have got an eight because this, I'm a bit worried that this is going to keep, like, you know, it's just going to keep coming down. So, um, yeah. 
that is what that looks like. These um, were in the sale as well, so I will leave these links. I only got these two days ago, so hopefully, oh, they're still in the sale. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that people are subscribed to me that love watching my nails. Thank you very much. Okay, is there a ghost behind me? Why are you watching that? Um, yeah, so I just wanted to change it up a little bit. I absolutely love watching clothing hauls. Like, I love it. Let me pick you up. Hi. Um, I absolutely love watching clothing hauls. So, these are my wardrobes. Um, yeah, so I really, really, really wanted to do one and I was like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do one. I mean, now look at the lighting. See, that? there's the top, you can see it a bit better now. Um, yeah, so next time, I am in a bit of a rush, that's why I'm like, oh, I can't get everything ready. Next time I will, next time I do a clothing haul, I will make sure I've got my ring light, I'll make sure you're propped up properly, and the lighting's better. Um, so don't worry about that if this one was a bit dark. This was just kind of like a tester, because I don't want people to be like, well, I, I only want to watch nails, um, so I'm going to unsubscribe from you. Please don't do that. Please. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do like a little bit of a test really, just to see if you guys liked it, if you like having a bit of a, the clothing haul, the nails, um, yeah. So, um, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Um, let me know, you know, what you think of Pretty Little Things size, and usually it's spot on. I never send anything back from Pretty Little Thing, but a couple of these items, I think it was because they had zero stretch zero stretch so majority of them I am, set, I am sending back it was all in the sale anyway I'm not going to send this top back which is this one here woo that's the jeans um yeah I'm not going to send this top back um I know you just see my skanky carpet please excuse that we're in the middle of decorating I've been glossing I've been decorating we've got flooring coming over on Friday so that's going to be laid over the weekend we've just been wallpapering oh is it, the house is already decorated but it hasn't been decorated for a couple of years so it's all getting redone you know we've got new drawers we've got new wardrobes like from ikea and oh, i love ikea um yeah so please excuse the state of the carpet it's really old i'm not gonna lie it's really old but the bedroom was the last thing that i wanted to do because nobody comes in your bedroom you know oh, i hope not who's having an affair hmm joking and um, yeah nobody really comes in your bedroom unless it's like your friends or something they're not they're not going to judge you well your friends shouldn't judge you anyway i'm rambling i'm rambling um but yeah so next time it will be um a better quality lighter video i might even do it in my nail room next time because it's really light in there it's really bright i've already got my ring light and everything set up so i might do it in there so um yeah god this camera's heavy um my boyfriend's gonna see this and he's gonna be like what you doing trying on stuff on the internet for? Uh, um, no, he, he said I could use it. He was like, just use it. It'd be really good. Your nails, your videos would be really good quality. But I don't, I, I'm so used to using my phone. So I have the Samsung Galaxy S22. And I think the quality is fine on there. So I'm so used to using my phone. But he was like, just use the camera. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, it does keep cutting out recording though. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's like motion censored. And when it doesn't see you. It kind of just stops. Can somebody please let me know about that? Because I've even rang Canon literally like half an hour ago. And I was like, I'm trying to record. At three minutes it cuts out. Um, so just a minute ago when I was trying on all the other clothes. Before I tried on this top. It recorded fine and then it cut out. When I went behind the camera. It cut out. So I don't know if it's like motion censored. And that's why it carries on recording. I have no idea. Who knows? I don't. I'm not a camera person. I've never had one. Not like this anyway. I probably had the clicky ones when I was a kid. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so please let me know if you want to see more clothing hauls. Honestly, it's not a problem. Not a problem. Um, I have like... Lots of wardrobes. They just keep going. Um, yeah, lots of clothes. I need to put you down because this is really heavy. Um, uh, yeah, so please let me know what you think about the sizing from Pretty Little Thing. And if you're kind of like... A, you know a lush sort of lush shape I suppose um as everybody is beautiful just remember that don't be disheartened if things don't fit because I don't care I've had to go to Primark okay so you can see 
I am not like big, okay? I'm not big. You see what I mean? I'm not big. Okay? But with, these jeans are a little bit baggy. So if I had skinny jeans on, you would see the curves and all this sort of stuff. I've had to go to Primark before and I've had to buy a size 16 in a pair of jeans. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a 16. You know, my, my mum, you know, she used to be a 16 years ago. Um, before, like, she passed away and stuff, like, a long, long, long time ago. That everybody's different sizes, but don't be disheartened if you're a size 8 and you have to buy a 14. It just depends on the, the trousers and who's made them, and I'm having to hold you up, who's made them and all that sort of stuff, so... Yeah, please don't be disheartened and be and think, oh, well, I, I'm having, I'm a size eight and I'm having to buy like a size pair of fourteen trousers. There's nothing wrong with that. Most of my clothes in there are mixed from six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. Like I've got some shorts in there that are fourteen, and I'm not a size fourteen. If I measure my waist, I am a size twelve. So um, don't be disheartened. Learn to love yourself because you know you've got to, you've got to, because you don't want to live the rest of your life just looking in the mirror constantly thinking I don't like who I am, I don't like my body and you don't want to be doing that, okay? You don't want to be doing that, okay? If people shame you, then it says a lot more about them than it does you. So, um, yeah, learn to love yourself and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!